an article in truthdig.com, how the military industrial complex preys on the troops. The article goes into, and it's in the show notes, and it's an excellent thing. It's something we've been talking a lot about on this show, but it bears repeating to go into the specifics that this article goes into. It's written by William D. Um, Hartung of T- and Tom Dispatch. Um, basically, what, what they do is the Pentagon goes in there and, and everybody says, support the troops, support the troops, right? That's why we need more military spending, support the troops. Get these men and women the supplies that they need and blah, blah, blah. No, no, no. You really want to support the troops? Stop sending them into ridiculous corporate wars. <laughs> then we wouldn't have, um, we wouldn't have uh, you know, 22 suicides a day, which is offensive to me. Um, so here's, l- let's go into the, the basics of, or the, the, the details of, of how the budget is broke down and where the money goes. And it's not supporting the troops. It's supporting defense contractors. It's not, it's not support. If it was supporting the troops, the, we would have an amazing VA network around the country, right? We wouldn't have this many suicides a day and we wouldn't be sending them to ridiculous wars. They wouldn't be coming back with PTSD. They wouldn't be coming back with all of these physical and mental issues because we wouldn't be in eight wars around the world. Um, so in the fiscal year 2016, the Pentagon issued $304 billion in contract award to corporations. Almost half of the $600 billion um, over half of the $600 billion, $600 billion budget for the year. Um, according to the Federal Procurement Data System, top uh, 100 contractors were for, for 2016. The biggest beneficiaries by a country mire were Lockheed Martin with 36.2 billion, Boeing at 24.3 billion, Raytheon at 12.8 billion, General Dynamics at 12.7 billion, and Northrop Grumman at 10.7 billion. Together, these five firms gobbled up nearly 100 billion of your tax dollars, about one third of the Pentagon's contract awards in 2016. And remember, the Pentagon buys more than just weapons. Healthcare companies like Humana, 3.6 billion, United Health Group, 2.9 billion, HealthNet, 2.6 billion. Uh, get money. Pharmaceutical companies like McKesson, 2.7 billion. Well, that's weird because, you know, when vets come back with PTSD, they're just filled up. They're just narked up. They're just filled up full of drugs. They're not really dealing with the issue. That's why I've talked to many vets are like, well, I had to move to medical marijuana because the VA just had me all hopped up on this. Well, the VA is getting all of this stuff because look, pharmaceutical companies. Um, Universities, uh, deeply involved in military industrial complex research like MIT and Johns Hopkins get a bill, almost a billion each. So how much of that money is actually in the defense of this country, right? That's the thing. We need strong military defense. We need to support the troops. We got to stay safe from our enemies, right? It's also the military industrial complex and all of these other subsidiaries get paid. If you really want to make this country safe, cut the military budget in half, re-put it into our infrastructure, put people to work, give people single-payer health care, give people college tuition, give people good union-paying jobs with health benefits and everything else and investment, give people a solid free education, free college tuition. Um, How about that? That would would drastically (laughs) help. And let's make it, I'll show you too where some of the money's going that's supporting the troops. The heads of the top five Pentagon contractors, Lockheed Martin, Boeing, Raytheon, General Dynamics, and Northrop Grumman made a a cumulative $96 million last year. So the CEOs are getting $96 million while there's vets living on the street. Does that seem fair? Does that seem like we're supporting the troops? Vets who had their homes foreclosed on? I wonder if $96 million could help them out. I wonder if just a little bit of money to increase, uh, to give, you know, vets health care, to give them college tuition, to help them 
pay their mortgages so the CEOs get it. Yeah, bunch of rich 1% trust fund, <laughs> country club, private jet flying assholes are getting all this money so that we are not supporting the troops. We're supporting the 1%. So I hope this makes you happy that your tax dollars are going for defense contractor CEOs salaries. I mean, so anytime one of those dicks has to fly in a helicopter to their place in the Hamptons or whatever, just know that your tax dollars helped pay for that, right? Donald Trump initially spent a fair amount of tweeting energy bragging about how he was going to bring such contractors to heel on their practicing uh, and the pricing practices for weapon systems, right? Remember that? He would always come after Obama and we're going to cut this and do that. Yeah. Huh, really hasn't done it. He's increased the military budget. He got an additional $80 billion for his budget. A bunch of Democrats like Kamala Harris and Dianne Feinstein and Tim Kaine all voted for that extra $80 billion. So there's another reason that the Democratic Party is more corporate war machine weasels. Um, the defense industry has, for instance, annied up $65 million in political action committee contributions. Oh, and PACs since 2009. Well, that's weird. That's weird. Huh. They've spent over a billion dollars in, in lobbying activity since 2009, employing anywhere from 700 to 1,000 lobbyists in any given year. Boy, really making us feel safer in taking care of the troops. And then part of it is they say, well, if we cut mili you know, military spending creates jobs, you know, and they'll cite, you know, some factory that builds this, you know, a, weapons or tanks or whatever, and those people get those jobs. Oh, okay. But that's not the real people who are getting the jobs. You're protecting CEOs. Those are the jobs, the military jobs that we're supporting with our tax dollars, the CEOs. Lobbyists and overpaid CEOs, that's the main people. That's the main place that your tax dollars are going to. Make you feel good, make you feel like you're supporting the troops, make you feel safer. Yeah, see, I don't. I don't feel safer that lobbying assholes and CEOs are making money. So this is a really interesting article. Um, William Harding is a Tom Dispatch regular and the director of the Arms and Security Project at the Center for International Policy and the author of Profits of War, Lockheed Martin and the Making of the Military Industrial Complex. So when people say we got to support the troops, point, again, I always say point to the facts, show them how we're not supporting the troops. We're supporting lobbyists and CEOs right? We're not making America safer. We're just making the 1% richer. And this is another reason why I'm glad all of you are involved and get involved as much as you can. Because this is the kind of crap that is so, it just, it's so egregious. And there, well, how do we afford universal health care? Maybe stop paying military lobbyists and CEOs. Maybe then we could have health care. Maybe then we could do student loan debt forgiveness. Huh? Still can't forgive Puerto Rico's debt. People are dying there. They're still not getting the reason. Three, four weeks after the hurricanes and we're still not helping them. We won't even forgive their debt. But these CEO assholes for Lockheed Martin, they're making millions of dollars. Oh yeah, that seems fair. Still no drinkable water in Flint, Michigan. But the Northrop Grumman guys are getting their private jets all gassed up and waxed and clean. Oh, that seems fair. 22 vets a day are killing themselves, but uh, the lobbying firms are making money? Oh, yeah, that seems fair. Don't wave the fucking flag at me when it, it, don't wave the flag at me and tell me we need to spend money for military when we're actually fucking over the soldiers. If you're a vet or active duty, you're getting screwed. They are screwing you over and they don't care about you and they don't wanna support you. They just, you're just a number for to go out and fight their corporate wars. Know that. <laughs> 